craziness. We're trying to buy our ticket. We finally made it to the metro. We got to our Airbnb! Yay! This is the living area. And this was the cheapest option we could find. It was like 80 a night. Here is where we'll be sleeping because it looks really cozy. It's a studio, but I mean, it's pretty nice. Munich is actually really expensive, especially during Oktoberfest. It was either paying like 120 or 30 a night to stay in a tiny studio in the middle of the city or here. So we chose here because it's honestly a straight metro ride and it's like 20 minutes on the metro and we don't mind doing that at all. And now we're starving, so we're gonna go get some food. This is a creepy little pathway to get to pretty much anything. We found a place to eat. It's 10.40 and the kitchen closes at 10.40. That's my bread. Go. Thank you for being open at this time. Good morning world. So today is our first official day here in Munich. We are doing kind of like a little day trip. We made our journey to the airport to get the rental car. Then we need our passport. Huh? <sighs> we went all the way back to our apartment, which is not that far, it's like 20 minutes. Now we're going back to the airport. It's already like 1 o'clock, so we decided today we're going to go see Neuschwanstein, which is like a really pretty castle. It's one of the top things to do like if you're coming to Munich. Are you done putting on your makeup? Almost. <laughs> Gave us an orange car of all possible colors. Here we go! We got here a little too late, all the tickets were sold out, but we're gonna hike up to the castle anyway and see it from the outside, and outside is supposed to be the best part anyway, because that's the most beautiful part. We actually got some pretty good shots because when we got on the bridge, a lot of the people there left. Thank God, because it was like so many people. Oh, wait. Eat. So we just five, got five liters of beer for 10 euros. So that's one euro per beer, and each one is half a liter. It's pretty sick, dude. I'm on tea duty today. We're having breakfast. Look how cute this little breakfast nook is. I just put the crackers and the cheese and the salami together. Day two in Munich. Today we are going to Rothenburg. It's a really cute, quaint little town. It's around a two hour drive um, north of Munich. because they're playing Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones. So something really cool about this town, it's one of the best preserved medieval towns of Europe. It's been around since like the 12th century. It's really, really old. A lot of them caught the bubonic plague and everybody basically died out. Like it just stopped growing. It was on a standstill for like 200 years. It was a German artist. He came here and he was super impressed because it was so beautiful. And then other artists started following his lead and the first um, tourists started coming. They created laws to preserve it. So like they created laws so that you can't, you know, change or move the buildings and stuff. It froze in time. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Vlog and eat. This is a very um, typical Bavarian food called curry burst. That is so good. Uh. This is the sickest store I have ever been to. Let's have, what let's have in a beer the with the night. What in the world? What? This is like a little museum. And outside of the city walls, you have this amazing view. Hey. Hey. 
We got a two hour drive back to Munich, but we're definitely gonna miss this place. I don't know how well you can see, but this is one of those places where we definitely think it's worth it to stay at least a night or two so you can really enjoy it to its fullest. It really seemed like a small town when you look at it on the map, but when you're actually here, it's a lot bigger like than you think. There's a lot to explore, a lot of hidden corners. It was nice knowing you. Till next time. It is 8.30 in the morning. Babe, look at this. Ew. Soap. What? I wiped it with the paper. It is super foggy outside. I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look that much. We need a field. It's around the metro, heading to the city center. And it ends up being like 35 bucks. You might as well rent a car. It's so expensive. We got to the center. Woo! Oh man, construction, I go away. <laughs> Cheers. We are on the ho on the hunt for October clothes Oktoberfest clothing, which is traditional kind of like Bavarian clothing. I think it's called a Dirndl for girls. Yeah, it's like super expensive here, but everyone dresses up for Oktoberfest. We can't go to Oktoberfest and not dress up. So we're trying to find the most affordable option. They have like shorts for guys for like 800 euros. It's like crazy. And the girl outfits are like 200. So we're trying to find something a little more reasonable. Buy your outfit. Well, his outfit. I just have to look for my our costume for the rest of our lives. Go to the beach like that. Your tan lines will be. Oh, serious. Wait, let me see the book. Nice. But, uh, it's too tight. I don't know. But no, it looks good. Have you seen these Germans walking around? Yeah. It's uh, tight as hell. Down. After like five beers, it won't fit anymore. <laughs> so we got this whole thing for 189, which is a really good deal because the shorts alone in other places cost like I don't know, like 300 dollars. So this is definitely the spot if you want to buy an outfit for men. Babe's looking for her outfit. I already got mine. You gonna find it in time, baby? Yes. <laughs> Here's my outfit that I got for what 120 euros. I love it. I wanted something green and red, but I found this one and it's really cute. Is it too short like this? No, it looks good. Should I? Okay, this one's a little longer. It looks good. Shorter? I'm not it looks good. This one's shorter than this one. This oh, one's better. The shorter. The shorter. You got lipstick it's on short. your too. Is it better now? Oh, shorter just. <laughs> Trying to find out how to get to Oktoberfest. I don't know where it is. <laughs> you guys thought we were joking about everyone dressed up? We're not joking. Got some food on the train. 